Quad City Bay Area. Thank you for a two dollar super chat. Uh, um, is analog technology maxed out at fifteen hundred TV lines? Um, Quad City Bay Area TV lines are kind of bullshit anyway. Um, TV lines, what it actually is. I'm going to try and find an example. No. Uh, what actually TV lines is this? Um, analog video is made up of horizontal scan lines. You can't see what I'm pointing at. Sorry. Analog video is made up of horizontal camera uh, scan lines. There are, uh, frick, how many scan lines? I'm going to get the number wrong. <laughs> it's 540 scan lines for PAL. NTSC has 525 scan lines. And then how many is PAL? I think it's 540. 625. Hmm. Oh, you know what? NTSC is 540, but only 525 are viewable. I don't know. Anyway, it's made up of horizontal scan lines. And what that means, can we get an example? No. What that means is that the picture, shut up. The picture is scanned ver, uh, 525 lines, and that's all the resolution you get. Okay? All the horizontal resolution. Um, analog systems can resolve varying amounts of vertical resolution depending on various things. And so that's what TV lines is measuring. And you can see that when you have more TV lines, you get more resolution to the picture. Uh, interestingly, it's only vertical scan lines. If uh, There isn't such a thing, but it's only the vertical resolution that actually improves. The horizontal scan lines stay the same. But more resolution is more resolution, if, even if it's only on one axis. So Technically, the correct way to measure the scan lines of a system is to point a camera at a test pattern and measure how many vertical lines you can actually resolve. Okay? In reality, that's not what they do. In reality, what they do is Sony sells a sensor Sony says that the sensor is 700 TV lines. Who knows how Sony derived that number? And all the manufacturers who make a camera with that sensor and it just say that it's a 700 TV line cam sensor. The other thing to keep in mind is that the TV lines is a function of a fully analog system. So if the system loses high frequency components in the analog circuit, then a camera that outputs a signal with 800 TV lines or 1200 TV lines of resolution, by the time it gets to the display, it may not show all of that detail. The bottom line is that once you get above seven or 800 TV lines, I'm not convinced that for FPV purposes, there's actually much improvement. Uh, and I don't know what the practical maximum would be. Okay.